it's been a lifeline. Um, when I've been down and out, I call, they take me almost immediately. I would be worse if I didn't come here. Deborah DeFabies gets therapy at Vantage Health System and fears what may happen now that as of Saturday, the State Department of Human Services has switched from paying providers up front under contracts to a fee for service, that is, paying after services have been delivered. I think it's a crime. I think that if they take the funding away from this place, we're going to have a lot more trouble. Um, you're going to see a lot of victims of suicide. In a letter to the Asbury Park Press in June, DHS's acting commissioner wrote, with the contract payment system, consumers of state-funded and Medicaid mental health and addiction services have limited choices for service because contracts restrict the use of treatment appointments and beds. The acting DHS commissioner also wrote, in a fee-for-service system, state and Medicaid dollars pay for actual services rendered. New Jerseyans have broader choice in where they go and what services they access, and providers can make many business model decisions without state oversight. A contract is a predictable funding source with a set dollar amount, um, whereas fee-for-service is it's it's like the retail concept where whatever is bought, you get the money for, and that's it. Deborah Wentz of the New Jersey Association of Mental Health and Addiction Agencies says providers are struggling. The association says a $90 million safety net bill to help providers transition to the new model is not in the new budget. I would like to believe and hope that they wouldn't, you know, the safety net wouldn't be needed, but... Um, you know, on the ground where providers are serving, they have already made significant cuts. It's devastating. I had to reduce my budget by $1 million, which meant a layoffs of psychiatrists, social workers, support staff, management staff, which means less people will be served, and we're not quite sure how we're going to make that work. Vicki Sidro is the president and CEO of Vantage Health System, one of the oldest treatment centers in the state. Sidro says Vantage is surviving financially because revenue from its residential buildings and group homes makes up for the cuts it had to make. Our concern, Michael, is that emergency rooms are going to get hit, um, maybe jails, maybe you know homelessness, um, crises might happen. In this day and age, when mental health is touched upon in every area of our lives, and has become more important after 9-11 and all the tragedies we've had, really to have this happen now is just unfathomable to us. To adapt to the new reality, Sidro says Vantage closes on Tuesdays, and three months ago it began turning away the insured because the reimbursement rate is less than Medicaid's payout. Instead of coming here and paying $20 for copay and then we bill, they have to go pay $200 cash, which they're telling us they can't afford to do. So the people who have insurance will actually be the worst off because we're, we're, we don't know where to send them. DHS says it's more than double this Medicaid rates for treatment, but providers say the first hike in 20 years still falls short of the cost of care and the same for the increase in what the state pays. Sidro says the fee-for-service approach removes the safety net that accounts for the time and work put into collaborating with courts, contacting doctors in schools, writing reports, and much more. So for them to say they only want to pay us because they've been paying us for like almost not working, that's not true. So now if somebody doesn't come up, I'm still paying staff and I don't get paid. At a meeting two weeks ago with DHS, providers were told to negotiate higher rates for services from insurance companies. Some of us have tried to do that. There's nothing in the insurance company for them to do that right There's now. No exactly. Sidro is among the providers bracing for, but hoping to avert a crisis in care for a population that needs to avoid uncertainty. It's been overwhelming, yeah, <laughs> emotional. Um, sorry, it's tough. Okay. Um, because people are going to suffer. In Dumont, Michael Hill, NJTV News.